was erected um, earlier this week for the board of directors and the governors, the trustees. They came and had a big meal out there and got caught in the rain. I heard that their shrimp was undercooked and um, everything got a little bit held back because of, uh, of the rain. We're gonna take a look for the cows here. This um, path was first walked by um, the uh, Leope Indians, um, indigenous people of the region. Uh, this path definitely has a lot of footprints and history and, and a um, strong connection to the region. The cows are brought out in um, April of each year. They're loaned to the Skowhegan School of Painting and Sculpture from a local farmer. Um, Ronnie uh, trades, sort of does this kind of trade with the school where the cows come from his farm. And uh, I don't know exactly what he gets out of it, but we get uh, a uh, manicured lawn. Uh, as participants, we get to um, engage with the cows in, you know, in kind of to help our creative pursuits. Right? Is there any cows? No, they're over here. They're over here. Okay. You can't see them? Here's another stone. That's an old stone right there. Got to be pretty old. And uh, sometimes if you look on the ground, you can find um, quarters, soda money. Soda machines here only take quarters, it seems like. And they run out of soda all the, fu all the time. Constantly running out of soda. You'd think that they'd be more on the soda, a little bit more lively, soda replenishing. We got some more rocks and a red tub here. Um, the red tub might be an art project, so we don't want to get too close with, it could be somebody's, um, looks like nothing's in it. All right, see those cows right there? Or those rocks? No, those are cows, right? Those are cows. We'll go take a look at the cows. So during visitors weekend, 